Pechicucha 83, Marvel Week. Uh, it was unintentional that that's kind of the flow of the week, that I, I'm looking at a lot of Marvel stuff. But that's how it's turned out. And on top of the stuff I'm showing, I'm still working on my little Doctor Strange comic, but I just added dialogue, so there's nothing to really show. Uh, yeah, so the week started me with me wrapping up the accountancy course that started last week. Uh, it turned into quite the fiasco, so I was going to continue and do other stuff, but now I'm like, yeah, maybe these guys, I don't want to work with them so much. Uh, how would I sum up what went wrong? I would simply say they were cowboys, and <laughs> I was going to do a little uh, visual aid of Deadpool in a cowboy hat shooting his guns up with Batman looking on disapprovingly. Uh, I kind of stopped at the start because I went on uh, Google to just see how big Deadpool's eye bits were, are they as big as Spider-Man's or, or not, and I kind of got sucked into reading Deadpool stuff, and then I thought I'm going to go read some actual Deadpool comics from start to finish. Picked one at random, read it for free online, because I'm cheap, Deadpool vs. The Punisher, five issue, uh, I, I, you know, I have no idea when this took place, but you know, that's the beautiful, beautiful thing about it, it's kind of a timeless story. Uh, this is one of the shots where something happens, the Punisher said something, and the penny drops for Deadpool, and I love that this is a full page devoted to Deadpool just realising something's wrong. This is the beauty of, of like visual narrative, this is the same image four times, but yeah, trust me, it's it's great. Uh, Taskmaster is one of those guys who, who I love to see in comics, because who the fuck is he? Um, he's a guy who typically is more interesting as he's written, because he's a less, lesser known character. Um, and yeah, he's pretty good in this story as well, simultaneously causing trouble for the Punisher and Deadpool. Uh, so this is a picture I did of Professor Xavier a while ago, and I thought, yeah, it's, uh, I, I was messing around with a lot of things, you know, inking with the lasso tool, colouring with the lasso tool. The only thing I, I, I said it at the time, the only thing I like is the turtleneck. Um, I was going to improve it, and then I thought, you know what, let me just use it to do another one. So I kind of, I've done the same picture, but I've kind of, you know, done more stuff. So this is a bit more like how I should be drawing. More elements, um, and, and using an iterative process where I just kind of tighten up things, uh, you know, in separate layers and just try and feel my way through them. Uh, as I was working on Cyclops for the third layer, I kind of noticed that Professor Xavier with a, with a bigger brush, kind of, it, it's it's like... A soft focus thing so it's like the camera's looking past the, the professor. Is this something I could use going forward? I don't know but I thought it was worth pointing out because it can be something I can think about if I want to go forward. So I flipped the image as it stands now and it looks for, you know pretty decent reversed which means I didn't mess up the anatomy too bad. Uh, Cyclops is in a position I don't typically draw uh, and I think that turned out quite well. His arm resting on Yeah, the program just closed on me, so I'm going to have to see what just happened when I play this back. It doesn't seem to have lost my place. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so I flipped the image, and yeah, it looks like it holds up. Cyclops is... Uh, it's kind of worked. Okay, it looks like we're okay. Yeah, so I was looking at random comedy this week. Stephen Wright's like a one-liner guy, speaks in a monotone. It's kind of surreal. I think he's hilarious. His look plays into to ha his delivery to the point where I actually wonder if he shaves the top of his head so he looks like a bigger loser. Um, the, yeah, YouTube uh, Library is an alternative to YouTube, which they're advertising on YouTube because they're trying to get people off of YouTube. Is it going to work? No, but it shows that people are starting to get sick of YouTube and its arbitrary nature. At some point, YouTube will implode. No time soon but people are already trying to come up with alternatives. Uh, here's some stuff I found on Tumblr. Some guy managed to make God's ugliest creation, the Chihuahua, look badass, especially like the one on the far right in the suit. Wish I'd done that. That's totally within my range, but I don't get up in the morning and think, I need to make Chihuahuas work. You've got Ren from Ren and Stimpy, and that's enough for me, but yeah, good stuff. Also found on Tumblr was Dark Disney. I don't, <laughs> I don't go looking for this stuff, it comes to me. Uh, if I worked for Disney, I'd probably be calling copyright on these guys. I think it's cool, it's interesting, and it's probably a better telling of some of these stories. Um, but 
Disney kind of don't want people messing with how children interact with their stuff. Another example of iterative drawing, I did a pit, the far picture, the picture of Gambit on the far left a long time ago, I came back and redid it using uh, watercolour, and then I coloured it, and then I over, I changed the uh, base layer to overlay, so it's like, it gets rid of the black, but I didn't have to do anything. Is that how I want to work? We'll see. Another type of iterative uh, drawing is it's like I was trying to see if I could just draw a dinosaur with no reference, but I <laughs> uh, I got distracted by like alligator face, uh, and then it just turned into like you know robo dino and like chicken thing, uh, and then I was just working with with a, a base black brush and just doing Batman silhouettes, just because I was like let's just. Let's just draw with no detail and see what happens. In the end, I started trying to do compositions uh, that were too complicated for the fact I was trying to avoid doing detail. Uh, it, was, it was a fun exercise. Uh, and speaking of Batman, the internet brings this one to you. Hey, Clark, do you recognize me? I'm Batman. You probably can't see past my flawless disguise because everyone in Metropolis is dumb. Yeah. Uh... Oh, Batman, you so crazy. But, you know, like the saying goes, when Batman smiles, bad things happen. Uh, yeah, and this is why I don't get work done, because I go on Tumblr and I see stuff like this. It's it's funny because he looks like Jesus, but the funny thing is that neither of them actually look like Jesus. Oh, it's so meta. God is laughing. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something I'm sneaking in on you, a crazy picture of Nobunaga. Still can't quite get the hair, uh, but I got the crazy. I got the crazy for days. Oh, I spelt new next week wrong. I suck. Oh, well, too late. Uh, so what am I going to do next week? I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to be cool, get stuff done, try and recover from like being on this accountancy course that kind of messed up my sleeping patterns and my uh, work ethic, whatever that is. So... Let's see how the editing goes, and I'll see you next week. That brings us to the end of Petri Kucha 83.